What's up, guys? Sean here with VP2R. We're here with Mr. Austin Boom, and I've been getting a lot of questions lately about static stretching and alternatives to static stretching. I think it's great because what we know through research is static stretching really doesn't do a whole lot for us in the long term. It's great for acute, short-term stretching, and it has its place, but there are better options. So one thing I want to talk about, and I didn't come up with this, a guy named Andreas Benet did, and I think it's great. It's called functional range conditioning, and kind of what it's doing is the difference between a static stretch. So if I'm here and um, We'll just, do, we'll just do ankle stretch. So I'm here, I'm trying to stretch my heel cord out, I'm pushing my ankle down. This is just a static position. So I'm getting a stretch here, but I'm just moving fascia around. There's no neural activity going to the spot, so there's no learning. There's no motor pattern association here. So if we change it up and we do something to where we are active the full time through the range we're using, then all of a sudden we learn that and we're able to use it functionally throughout the day, snatching, climbing a wall, anything. You can use it in different forms. So we're gonna go over the hip real quick. Austin, do you get down? And what he's gonna do is, he's, we're gonna focus on this right hip, hip and we're gonna work flexion, abduction, external rotation. But what does this look like? Come over here to the side a little bit more. So go ahead, I want you to go into this, flatten out a little bit, there we go. Go ahead and start, bring your knee up into the full. So what is this right here? This position right here, this looks like the bottom of squat, right? Okay, so now he's working hard. This is full, this is full range of motion. I start coming around. Work it around, yeah. See, he's not getting up spinal position. Keep your spine flat. So he needs to drop a little bit. There you go. You do not want to give up spinal position. Spine first. Keep on coming around. Good. Now he's in a more clear part of the hip, so he has more range. Lift up. Boom. Now he starts to hyperextend, come back down a little bit. Now I start bringing it around again. Do not sacrifice spinal position. And this is so active. He is fully engaged right now through his glute musculature and down through his quads. Come all the way forward. And you can drop down. And a great way to test this, give this a shot, see where this is. This is new thinking, but it works great. This is the best positioning work that I've found. Test and retest. Hop into a full squat. Hop into a full squat, see how it feels, and then try this functional range conditioning and see how you feel afterward. All right, guys.